Hey everyone, Tragic the Garnering back again with another lot from Goodwill. Um, this one from Central Florida. 700 plus Magic the Gathering cards for $201 plus some shipping. So it ends up being about $210. To me, this looks like a little more than $700. That's probably more like $1,200 or so. So we'll see how that ends up. Um, looking at the pictures um, is some decent stuff. Looks like some Commander 2013 stuff mixed in with the usual kind of commons and things that you might expect. There are some rares here that are nothing good. You got an Enderac, you got a Liliana's Reaver. Again, stuff that you might expect. Um, right here on this one is a Primal Vigor, I believe, and that is about a $19, $20 card. Um, and that by itself um, is interesting, but it does seem like there's a lot of other Commander 2013 stuff mixed in here. So maybe we're gonna get more of it in the actual stack uh, in this bag um, so who knows right that's what it's all about trying to mine for value now did they take all of the best cards and throw them right here in the front so you could get all excited and leave you know 1200 tokens or basic lands right here i don't know i'm about to find out so let's open this box and find out here it is from the Goodwill of Central Florida. All right, Ziploc bag. Um, that doesn't help with the condition at all, that's for sure, but that's what it is. Got some Dragon's Maze, oh so exciting. All right, here we go. First bit on the top here. Yeah, it looks like that's probably the stuff that was shown in the listing. There's rares, rares, rares. Got a foil. There's some commander stuff. So this was the stuff on the top. So we'll go through this all properly here in a little bit. Um, I'd like to reach down a little bit further and just grab a sample and see if there's hope and then we'll get to it properly. So I'm just going to pull out this section here. There's some Hour of Devastation, seriously uh, duplicated commons, so that does not look good. So, all right, labor of love at this point, got to get through it all and see how badly I got hosed. Be back soon. Okay, it's time to start learning this tragic lesson. Here we go. At least it'll probably go fast. A braid. Actually, a good card. Got two of them here. So, one, two. Our big pulls so far on this collection. All right. It wasn't all bad, it's just mostly bad. Bonte's Monument, I think is a little bit. Let's see here. Yep, there's another okay one, so throw that there. Oh, hey, Swiftfoot Boots is decent. All right, let's take that one off. Swiftfoot Boots. Okay, maybe we're getting some pay dirt here. Let's change that. 
Blood Rite. Sakura Tribe Elder is good. Soul Ring is good. Okay, probably don't need to switch the addition on some of this stuff here. Yep, that one actually got it right. 459 for that. Hey, we're on our way. <laughs> We've got a long ways to go with this commander stuff to make up our ground here. Hey, maybe it can be done. I'm gonna bet that they've pulled a lot of the good stuff out. 66 cents, it's almost, I'll pull it, but it's gonna come off my list. Viscerous Seer should be over a buck. A couple bucks, well, I'll change the addition on that. Pretty good, actually. That's fecundity. That's decent. So they did leave behind some good commons and uncommons out of this commander set. Um, there's a little hope, but um, probably not going to get back to breaking even, right? Jace's Archivist is pretty decent. Switch it to the M12. Three bucks there. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Parametra's Acolyte, an actual foil card. Don't imagine that it's. Oh, it's actually. That says it's a promo. Got a Prosh. Sky Raider of Kerr. It's a mythic from Commander. I don't think it's a big one. But it counts. Pull it there. Shatter Gang Brothers, okay. All the kind of lesser stuff got left behind. Yeah, Inferno Titan. Another one that's not gonna quite make it, I don't think. Command Tower, I think, is gonna be okay. Yep, a couple bucks there. Check, Goblin Bombardment. Five dollars, wow. Not bad for a uh, uncommon. There, yep, Primal Vigor right there, so. This was the biggest one shown, and it's the biggest one we found, so it's 20 bucks right there. And that was the one that was most easily seen because it was all the way on the right-hand side, um, not covered by any other cards, so that's interesting. 477 for that foster we can kind of see the style of this particular goodwill which is was the goodwill of florida but like i said i got another one coming from this same seller ophia mancer seven bucks okay Kerr keep 267 different version Okay, that's it. So, from the Goodwill of Florida, uh, all the best stuff was pretty much shown off uh, at the top. And everything else was pretty much some really bad duplication bulk uh, from our devastation. So, not ready to pass judgment yet. I do have another lot coming from this same Goodwill that looked very similar. We'll see if, um, from those two samples, this one and that one, if we can nail down their style of showing off cards and if they are if they're in the know and they're just showing off the best kind of stuff and then purposely putting pretty bad stuff in the mystery part of it then we'll just know not to buy from them again 
that's fine. That's how it goes. I'm here to gamble for you guys. Um, and we can maybe just uh, weed out the ones that are uh, trying to do this kind of stuff. I don't mind if it if I gambled on something and uh, there was you know definitely nothing in there. But if habitually, continually, you can tell that these particular sellers are doing this as staging, then we just won't buy from them anymore, right? So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I learned my tragic lesson for the day, or did I? Catch you on the next one.